I think it's about Harry, actually, is that uh, he managed to get away with quite a lot in his life and we loved him for it. We've had a revelation, haven't we, lately, uh, on a, on, on a yeah. Paddy McGuinness, basically, the Top Gear stars, uh, on a Wrestling Natives podcast, never heard of it, but he said a, talk, an anecdote, basically, of being in an underground club in Chelsea with Harry, where there was all sorts going on, including that Harry oh. was ripping his T-shirt off, trying to snog him and kiss him, took a photo yeah. of the Queen down off the wall and said, I can't have her watching me do this. Fact of the matter is, actually, in the prodigal son uh, analogy there, that if Harry did come back to Britain, we probably would forgive him his transgressions and welcome him. What happened to the happy prince? Where yeah. did he go? Because there was nobody happier. And all the girls, you've just proved it, liked him. Everybody liked him. They admired him. Yes, he was the naughty boy. He got into some scrapes and he did some stupid things and he fessed up to them. Uh, that can all be put behind him. That can be youthful. Uh, exuberance but now he's so glum we don't recognize him does he look happy well the signs aren't there are there i mean he's got two beautiful healthy children they've got more money than you can shake a stick at uh they've got people millions of people a lot of young people admire them and think they're right they've got all those advantages and they've got their friends in hollywood who probably pat them on the back and say you're doing a fantastic job but at the end, at the back of his mind, must be, and he's referred to it, the life that he's lost, the culture that he's come from, what he misses about Britain. Well, it's all here. We didn't move away. They moved away. Yeah.